didn't. I made it. <laughs> okay. So now to adjust things. Ah. Okay, that's good. There she goes. Okay, I was scared for a second. I was like, oh god, is it not gonna actually, like, work? Yes, we do want English. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it another minute since I said that I would start at five. The music sounds nice, I like that. <coughs> Are we doing this thing? Okay, so I'm gonna quickly preface this with, sh with like, the title is First Time for Everything. I have never played Final Fantasy VI. Um, <laughs> I've never played Final Fantasy VI. This is my first ever experience with it. Um, I know for a lot of people it is their favorite Final Fantasy, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to play it. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much all I know really about this game is like Terra, and even then I don't know much about Terra besides the fact that she exists. I only like just the other day looked up the characters because I hadn't like known any of them, and I just wanted to see what they looked like, so we'll see how it goes. And yes, we do love, we love a nice little pixel remaster. The ancient war of the Magi, when its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic and life slowly returned to the barren land. Also, if this is lagging at all, please tell me. Please, God, tell me. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Yes. Yeah, the music is really good. There's the city. Hard to believe an esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the war of the Ma Mag Magi? Magi? Magi. But probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. 
They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident the intel was good. Ah, yes, our witch. I hear she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. We'll approach from the east. Move out. She does look a little dead, huh? I know Octopath Traveler came very far after this, but the music does remind me a lot of Octopath Traveler. I keep feeling like I should do something, but I don't think I'm actually supposed to. Because, like, clearly we're going somewhere. Okay, so we are we are getting to something, okay. okay. The girl takes point and don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. I'm only talking really fast because it seemed like it was stopping me from, like, taking my time with the dialogue and I was scared that I was gonna miss it. Again, was locking. Yeah, it really would. Okay, backspace, tab, menu. I already looked at all of this, so we'll see. Okay. The Empire's got no business here. Woof, woof. Oh. It's even got like a little rock vibe to it. Love that. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go this way. Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narsh is safe anymore. If you guys can hear this, because it's great. Okay, good. Just making sure. Okay, I guess we're doing this again. Okay, 
Can I take it? I can't go in there. Woof, woof. Okay, anyway... Defend the mines! No! Anyways, according to our source, some miners unearthed the frozen esper in a new shaft they were digging. This must be it. Ooh, pretty music. I should have not done that, but oh well. So it was. handle this. Stand back. Okay, we're fighting again. Got it. This thing said they must have trained it to guard the mines. What are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning and stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. Okay, well somebody's healing something. Uh, probably you first. Then we're gonna attack some stuff. Oh. I just I wasn't paying attention. Oh heck. Um I see my issue now. I 
I mean, I'm probably gonna die either way. Because I did not understand how this fight went. I mean, they told me how it worked, but I didn't agree, I guess. So I'm just gonna do this to see if I can get myself to die. Is this music good? <laughs> okay, let's try this again now. Yes, I know. Yes, please. Let's try this again. I kind of forgot I was so level, low level. I mean, it was entirely my fault, so <laughs> I can't really say a whole lot. significantly better than last time. Okay. Much better. Okay, we're doing fine on stuff right now. So this is the Frozen Esper. This thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Wog. What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey, what's going on?
fair am I? My mind, I only just removed the crown. My head hurts. Easy there, this is the slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you'd do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Mysterious young woman born with a gift of magic and is enslaved by the Gastalian Empire. Terra! My name is Terra. Impressive, I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Open up. We're here for the Magitech armor pilot. Open this door right now. Hand over that girl. She's an I uh, she's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Magitech armor. There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly. Not as OP. Get him, Tara. Let's go. chest phoenix down that doesn't help if there's only one of me should probably heal after this. Yes, I will do that. Uh, not X. Tab. Okay. Better. Onward ho. Chest! old school Final Fantasy fight music so much. Like, it all had the same general idea to it, but it just sounded so fun. Okay, have fun. I'll be here until seven. Oh dear god, I'm falling. <laughs> Goodbye. 
My sweet little magic user. Ooh wee hee hee. With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. Wee hee hee. Good, good. Burn them all to a crisp. I don't know why I'm doing that voice for him, but I'm kind of tempted just to commit to it because I think it's funny. <laughs> Ooh, pretty lady. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The last power of magic has returned to us. We have been chosen. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hoorah. Yeah. <laughs> Took you long enough, busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. A treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. Luck. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. Girl, you don't mean... The city guards pursuing her as, as, as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance team like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. There she is! Woof, 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 woof. Wonderful, there's a whole bunch of them. Koopo! Moogles! Yeah! Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Koopo! Koo, and I cannot emphasize this enough. Po. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Yes. Three different parties. Press L to switch between them. Defeat the leader of the guards before his troops reach Terra. Okay. You kind of suck at hitting things. Except you, Moggy. You're a homie. Come on, Moggy. Let's go. It's going pretty good. Um, this is my first time playing this game, so it's a uh, a little bit interesting. <laughs> um, the the music's banger though. Like the music's really banger. <laughs> I 
I think that's probably my favorite part of the game so far. Like, Terra is cool in the... Just the whole, like, old-school Final Fantasy feel is really nice to me. Um, so I enjoy that aspect of, a of it a lot. But I think generally, um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I am a pretty big fan of Final Fantasy VII. Um, I, I really enjoyed the Final Fantasy VII remake. I've, I genuinely don't know how many times I've played it thus far. But one of the main reasons why I actually wanted to play this one was because I had heard from so many people that it was their final, their favorite Final Fantasy. So I wanted to actually see, like, why. Which it's not that I, that whenever I say why that I think it's bad or think it could be bad in any way, because, um, as I said, I'd really, I really enjoy old school Final Fantasy. Like, Final Fantasy, like the OG Final Fantasy on the PSP was one of my favorite things to play, um growing up so it's it's certainly not from a an aspect of me that like thinks I wouldn't enjoy it yeah I'm really interested to see that because I I honestly don't know anything about Final Fantasy 6 like period all I knew about Final Fantasy 6 going into this was just that Terra existed that's literally the only thing I knew, like, Locke, even as a character, I never knew anything about him. So I think it'll be really cool just to, like, get to know the characters a little bit better. Okay, let's do- ooh, I don't like the- okay, it's like actual, like, fight music now. Okay, we're getting into that. Oh shit. Um save the Moogle. I I really expect it to. And you can unequip Mog for some early OP equipment. Oh, cool! That's cool, I didn't know that. And, um, yeah, I I was really interested in, um... It, I've heard it has a really good story, so I'm looking forward to seeing how good of a story it actually has. <laughs> um, but there's never been, like, a Final Fantasy story that I didn't enjoy. Oh, I'm like, I'm like almost dead. I kind of, I kind of stopped paying attention. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Oops. And Tara has the phoenix down, doesn't she? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh wait, I do have a phoenix down. Okay. I should have saved Moggy. Moggy was a homie. <gasps> terrifying <laughs> dear lord <laughs> thanks moogles we're in your debt i would i would i wish i would had thought about the early equipment thing beforehand oh well <laughs> it is what it is The switch on a... Tara, are you alive? Hey, you back with us now? You saved me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory. The man said it would come back, eventually. 
So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. Thank you, homie. Okay, out we go. Goodbye. I guess we're going out. Well, actually, hold on. Can I? I keep clicking it instead of tab. Okay, so I'm fully healed now. Epic. Sick. I guess I'm going in this general direction. We funny. It looks like a bunny like sitting on cabbage. I love that. Okay. I could bop along to this music literally like forever. It just hits so hard. Halt. Oh, it's you. Proceed. Thanks. Chocobos! Am I not allowed through here? No, okay. Can I... Probably a phoenix down would be good. Okay, I don't need to sell anything. Because I don't trust myself. Give it a shot. Oh wait, I can't go here, can I? Oh, I can. Give. Okay. I've played a Final Fantasy game before. This young woman is. Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first greeting. Meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. Edgar. I am Edgar, the king of Figaro. <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my... abilities? Eh, eh, eh. I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. Third, can I get your number? I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose some girls would have felt something from those words, but not me.
Am I just supposed to leave now? Is that it? I feel like I missed something. I, just... I don't know if there's anything more to this or if that's it. <laughs> I guess I'll just go. Yeah, so in terms of, like, my favorite Final Fantasies, um, Seven makes a pretty, pretty high number one for me. I really do love, uh, the original a lot, however, I really enjoy, like, the original, um, on the PSP. I keep doing that, I need to stop. Um, I also really like Thirteen, I know that's kind of a... Not most people's favorite, I should say. Um, but I really like 13. Um, I'm trying to get into 8 right now. Like, I'm watching someone else play it just because I don't really have the time to play it myself. I've played it for a while, but it's kind of a lot of effort. Um, not my favorite. <laughs> um, but it's alright. Just in comparison to like some of the other Final Fantasies I see, I've seen, um, it definitely doesn't stand out to me quite as much. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Finally, dear God. May I please cure? Yes. Okay, so that does do, do like, a, a fair bit of damage, okay. Terra's design is really cute though, I like it. I just don't know if I'm supposed to do anything in here. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh wait, I can go through these rooms? Did I do that before? No. I did not. Okay, well this room isn't beneficial to me, thank you though. Oh. I see. Bed. Weapons. So figure it out. Oh, 
up this way and around the oh, whoa, 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 come back. Okay. Rest for a bit. Yeah. His Majesty said he'd marry- oh. Sorry, I'm still reflecting on that. Edgar, what's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Have you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sobbin. Because he's sobbing. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. Is there anything more for me to get from this? Oh, he's back. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, there's something from the Empire here to see you. So someone? Kefka, no doubt. Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead. Why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. <laughs> and there's sand on my boots. All gone, sir. Pathetic idiots. Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? Miserable little sand pit. Okay. I don't understand what the plan is here. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. 
Oh, Edgar, you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. A wee hee hee. I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Do I go after them or no? No. I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to stay in chat, but the Chancellor and I have some planning to do. Being a king's not all teen crumpets now, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Dude just vanished. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest, I'm... Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a... Treasure Hunter! On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go and go go between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire. But I'm an import. Imp <gasps> but I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you, that's all. Things are different now. It's just... I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. Try not to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. But how will I know which choice is right? What's going on? It's the Empire, Kafka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl, now! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue. Get her ready. Had a change of heart. Seems I have no choice. Or perhaps I do. Oh my, the brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful. Jump. Alright, sink her into the sand. Yahoo! Figaro dive mode engaged. Glory, Figaro. Go! 
kill them. No. I feel like we're supposed to lose this. Never mind, maybe we're not supposed to lose. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? But did, did, did you see what I just saw? You, you did, right? Right? Yeah, that kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic! Magic! M -m 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 magic She used magic? Tara, your name was Tara, right? What what exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I No, we're the ones who should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Nor did I, it just surprised me. I mean I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Tara can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic could really help us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> oh, okay, that was easier than I expected it to be. Bravo, Figaro. You'll pay for this! That was great! Were those bad people? I... I'm scared. Tara, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic's going to be key to winning this war. Magic? If that us were reacted to your magical powers, there's gotta be a reason. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Banon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. He said south, but... He said south. So this way is south. But you put me in that direction. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't read. Uh, backspace. Oh, I went the wrong way. Well, oh well. Uh, so it's space. There we go. It's okay, I can use the levels, it's fine.
anyways. King Edgar, where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. We'll then make sure for make for the returner headquarters in the north. Return to the pass the ca I can't speak English right now. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. I know it's not, but I keep clicking it. What does that girl look like that? This is a very, um, classic Final Fantasy cave. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than it reminds me a lot of, like, OG Final Fantasy 7. Not Final Fantasy 7. OG Final Fantasy's cave. They definitely changed things up a lot with, uh, 7. And that's not me, like, trying to compare it and be like, it's the best game ever compared because everything is should be compared to 7 because it's ult ultimately the best game, whatever. No. It's just, like, in comparison, it was also fantasy-esque. At least from, like, what I remember, like, older Final Fantasy games, which I've not played all of them, and I'm not gonna pretend like I have either. But it seemed like they sort of, like, shied away from the final, like, the the fantasy aspect. Which honestly, I'm, I'm kind of excited because 16 seems to have that very fantasy-esque style and I'm really down for that. I've seen people say that they want to see Final Fantasy 6 as like a remake in the same format as like 7. And at least from my experience so far, I think that a lot of the magic of this game would be lost if they were to do that, because I think the pixelated style and just the feel of it lends really well to this type of story and this sort of like plotline in my opinion. I mean, if they ever did a remake, I'd still play the shit out of it, but still, there's some things that shouldn't be, you know? Not because they're bad, but just because they're perfect as they are. And I think this is perfect as it is, personally. I mean, at least with my level of enjoyment that, w that we've gotten to thus far. I 
got to fight the bees. Not the bees. That went way better than expected. I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna leave, I guess. Self Figaro. Who are you and why are you? You seem suspicious. Suspicious. Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, Locke. That guy looks familiar. He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow? Makes sense. Yeah, that's Shadow, alright. He's an assassin. He killed his own. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Guess we'd better steer clear of him. I see. Ooh, do you have things to sell? No. I will not be doing that. Do you have item though? I do like item. It would appear not. Okay. It was it was a good shot. Didn't work, but it was a good shot. Ooh, what are you selling me? That sounds quite nice. I don't want to buy too much at once. Just in case there's stuff I really want later on. There we go. You can gain all kinds of abilities by equipping relics. These sh yeah, I noticed. It was a little embarrassed, huh? Relics can grant you a variety of, of okay. Gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands. Ooh. Interesting. I want to go in. Let me in. Confirm. Okay. No, that's quite cool, though. I'm not going to remember that information, though, sadly. I don't retain information very well. Ooh. Oh, this is where I started. Never mind. I am a little dumb. Wonder if it'll really come to war, but the the Where the frick am I now? I got item. These are some like really well crafted buildings. They're very pretty. Hello, child. Hmm. 
I should buy two because then you can both use one and then you want that. Okay. Gosh darn it. Okay, this one. These are surprisingly affordable. I should have. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, I should sell this. Just because I know it's for the better. Yeah, I think I'm okay for now. Actually, wait, hold on. Ethers? Do you have ethers? No. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. What's down here? So many buildings. Why so many buildings? Cider. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. selling. Oh, I already went in here. I'm stupid. So I guess the only way is like up. Yeah. Teleport stone. I already forgot where I was supposed to go, to be honest. I have the attention span of a squirrel. To Mount Colts, so you probably won't be back for a while. Okay, so I need to go to Mount Colts. That's what I'm gathering from this. Get out of here. Yes.
There we go, yes. Oh, martial artists. They're gonna hit me. I just wasted my time on that. It's okay. It's okay. Why is that girl like all the time? Like, why does he look like that? Sorry, I forgot who I was, uh, in character as for a second. I was like, well, what? Where? Oh shit. I just realized that Gur has 169 health. I didn't think he was dead yet, but okay. That's not fair. That's just not fair. <sighs> That's literally not fair, but okay. I freaking guess. So note to self, don't let anyone get low on health, ever. Yeesh. Can I please kill this thing? Anyways, oh shit, go back, go back. The extra speed is nice. Ooh, a tent. Kick some ass. That felt good.
Damn, you're bouncing, dude. Okay, so we're gonna... I don't know what's the fastest at this point, to be honest. Ooh, a save state. I'm sure this isn't foreboding at all. in me that's rude. Sneezy. For you, King. an achievement. I don't know why, but I sure did get one. Oh, you're poison. That's unfortunate. I just 
just don't trust it. I don't have any potions left. Chicken! Sabin sent you, didn't he? Who are you? Sabin, is he here? You were the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was? Hm. Well, it doesn't matter who you are. I've no intention to surrender. Woe is the day you met me. It'll be the last day of your lives! No. Okay, Terra, hear you heal yourself like ASAP, please. Come on, what's the matter? Nice. Enough of this. No, I'll send you all to the great beyond. That's enough, Vargas. Ah, if it isn't sub in. Why, Vargas? Why did you kill Master Duncan? How could you murder your own father? The fool snubbed me, his only son. He chose you as his successor. That's not true, our master. It's true and you know it. It's written in that ugly sneer across your face. He wanted you to be a successor, not me. He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. I've got far more than just potential. Why don't you see for yourself? Blizzard Fist. Ah, sub in. My father was right to see so much in you. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together, and now fate will send you to your doom. Now, get ready to join your beloved master. Why hold back, Subin? Your time's almost up. to put an end to this. I need to use a blitz technique like the master taught me. I already did. Yes, I've noticed. Thank you. 
You already learned that technique? Vargas, if only you hadn't been so consumed by pride. Up in. Edgar, my brother? Brother? You're his twin brother? His brother? At first I thought you were one of Vargas's bears. You thought I was a bear? I guess I'll uh, take that as a compliment. Anyway, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Saber Mountains. To the Returner's hideout, and no doubt. So, the wheels are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world would come to its senses. The way things were going, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. A means of striking back has presented itself. There'll be no more playing lapdog to the Empire. I'm through with that act. Think a bear like me could be of any help? Sabin, you join us? I think Duncan would rest easier knowing his training helped bring peace to the world. Well then, let's get going. I need to stop doing that. I guess I'll use my abilities to cure some bitches. Oh, hold on. Never mind, you need to heal too. Let's do this though. Just a no, it's that way, okay. Unseely. So true. Anyways, I guess we're going into the caves again. Oh, okay. King Edgar, this way, please. Oh, wait, hold on. I see thing. I want thing. Ether. High potions, good. Okay. Maybe what's over here? I want to look at all the things first. I mean, if it's free. You love to see it. No, but I'm getting there. Don't worry about it, bestie. Oh, okay. Here's a safe state. Epic. Can I avoid talking to you? Yes. We've 
brought her, we brought her with us. So this is the girl, the one to whom the Esper responded. Esper? It seems the Empire had complete control over her. Oh, sorry, that was a wrong person. It seems the Empire had a complete control. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. I also heard that she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. No, that's not... Tara. <laughs> I don't know why the tone of voice that I did that is just like a disappointed like parent. Like, Tara, you can't just do that. For heaven's sake, Banon, the girl doesn't remember anything. Hiding from the truth won't change it. Perhaps you've heard this story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box they went they were told never to open, but someone went and opened it anyway, and so unleashed all the evils we know today. Pride. Envy. Greed. Wrath. Gluttony. The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of light. Hope. Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. You are this world's last ray of light. Our final hope. Ban on! I've grown wary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. The Empire took someone important from me. I've hated it ever since. If no one stands up to the Empire, more people will be left like me. That's why I joined the Returners. But there's no one important in my life. I have no family, no friends. That's not true, and even if it was, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people could be counting on you. of items now. You love to see it. Okay, I can't get there. I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs before his own, ever since we were little. I think you should trust him too. But don't tell him I said that. He'll turn red as a tomato. Ooh, wah, ha, 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 ha. Laugh, laugh. It's not easy asking so much of you. And if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire. So we want you to decide for yourself. That really looked like a door, but I guess not. Okay, so who am I talking to now? Oh, okay. Really? You will? But, I'm scared. The uncertainty you're feeling is only natural. Tara, I want you to have this. What is it? A charm to help keep you safe. Take it! I have a plan. Would you please gather everyone together? Well then, we all know that the Castalian Empire is using its Magitech power to wage war. The question is, where did they get that power? I had- I had luck dig around for information. It seems the Empire has been gathering scholars from around the world to study espers. Narsh's Esper was the reason for the Imperial Assault here. There. Everywhere. Are you saying there's some kind of connection between Espers and Magitek? Espers and Magitek. Only one possible link comes to mind. You don't mean... The War of the Magi. No! That's impossible! 
My grandma used to tell me bedtime stories about magical machines. Hard to believe those stories were true. You're saying we're on the verge? The... You're saying we're on the verge of a second war of the Magi? It's only a guess. The war took place a thousand years ago, and every historian has a different hypothesis. But one says that energy drained from Esper's was used to power machines, and that ordinary humans were also infused with that same energy. So that's what Magitek power is. If we're going to fight Magitek enemies, we need Magitek weapons of our own. No, that would bring about another War of the Magi. Then what do you propose? I was wondering if we might be able to have a chat with an Esper. With an Esper? It's risky, but that Esper reacted to Terra before. If we could get it to react to her again, we just might be able to wake it up. Do you really think that would work? I can't say for sure, but I believe it's our best shot. Of course we can't do anything without Terra's help. Terra? I'll do it. I'm not entirely sure I understand the plan, but what the hey? This sounds like it'll be fun. What was that? Benon, sir! S so, Figaro. What's wrong? What happened? The Empire's taken South Figaro. They're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Locke. I know, someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? This is right up your alley. We're counting on you. Tara. Wait for me. I won't be gone long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. The guy moves in like a hawk. Locke. Edgar, old habits die hard, eh? What about us? We can escape down the Leith River and make our way to Norsh. I'm curious about that Esper we found they found in the mines. Very well, I'll ready the raft by the back entrance. It's risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Norsh. Could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. We've no time to dilly dally. Let's make for Norsh. See why not? Okay. Why are, like, all the people on this team except for Terra blonde? Why are they all blonde?
wasn't paying attention. Oh wait, that saved it. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Crisis averted. I'm assuming no matter what direction I go, it's still, like, it's not incorrect to go a certain way. Saba 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 This is really pretty though. This is a really nice remaster. Let us pray, gentlemen. Not a void. Why does he- does he have freaking sunglasses on? Go off, Edgar. I do not like the lesser will for us though. They're kinda hard. At least in comparison to like the other characters we've been fighting, I think. I could be wrong though. I just I think that they're a little more challenging. Yay. Save state. Why does he have sunglasses on? I don't understand why he has sunglasses on. Bannon's got a hell of a look on him, though. Know? Are we still doing this? We are, okay. I'm just glad I don't have to control it, to be honest. It's just more convenient for me that way. Oh, they both got sunglasses on. I'm sure those sunglasses mean something. Probably makes me... Uh, more likely to miss. We've all got sunglasses. We're the sunglasses gang.
I've had enough. Oh, okay, that was easy. How are you not dead yet, dude? Come on. Let's go. Get out of here. Come on, man. Get a hit in. Try a little harder. Thank you, dear God. Anything that works for this? Yeah. Well, that's all I got. Well, you have the most, so it would make sense. Your defense is 98. Okay, so I want to put it on you. And then combine it with the gauntlet. Okay. That works. Hold on, how's the heal healing for him? Let's keep it rolling. Dropping down a waterfall and she's just like... <laughs> she's 
she is a vibe. That's a really good move. Hey, what have we got here? Oh, okay, it's like actual like... You're up the creek without a paddle, and I'm not gonna let you through. No, I don't think I should party yet. Seafood soup is not on the menu. Oh, that's that one's a tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. Alright. And I wouldn't, so what about that? Oh shit, Terra's getting a little weak. Ouch. Muscle heads hate him. Damn, okay. I didn't think it was that low, but okay. Good. Oh, thank God, that was terrifying. Your ugly mug gives me the creeps. Ouch. Oh yay. Sploosh. Glub glub. Think you got the point? I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. Ew. Something stuck to my leg. Tara, get away from there. We should be alright now. Eight armed freak. I'm gonna smash it with a blitz. No, sub in. Out of my way, Edgar. Hi, Valentine. Hi, baby. Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sub in. Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Banon? You're his brother. You should know better than any of us. Any second now, will flock back up on the raft, right as rain. Wah! I think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Sub in! Sub in, you're on your own now. Sub in! Well, goodbye. But what if Sub in, who was swept away? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the defenses in South Figaro is all going according to plan? 
Choose a scenario, Koopa. I'm choosing to save. Because that is all the time that I have. So we're going to cut it off there. Because as I said, I was doing 5 to 7 and we actually just hit 7 o'clock, so that's kind of convenient. Uh, but anyway, that's just part 1 to the Final Fantasy 7 remake train. No. Final Fantasy 6 train. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to saying uh, 7 remake, it just kind of came out regardless. But no, we're doing six um and next stream will probably be thursday like next thursday or next friday but probably next thursday we'll see uh but yeah i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching if you did and thanks for typing in if you did peace out